สวัสดีครับ I'm JP m a s t a n z a It's Monday, April 24. Welcome to Phuket Extra, brought to you by p b c p h u k e t c o m A 49-year-old Thai man has surrendered to police for the death of his friend, whom he hit in the head with an iron wrench and left him for dead near the Bangniao Reservoir in Sri s u t o r n t a l a n g police were notified of a body found by the side of the road in an orchard in Sri s u t o r n s m u s e v e n area on Sunday just before noon and surmised that it had been there for several days. The victim was identified by police only as a Mr. Kwan and was found to have several deep wounds to the head and face. And a 70 centimeter long iron wrench was found near the body. 49-year-old Taksin Polwang surrendered to local police over the death and confessed how it happened. The two men were drinking and ended up arguing, with the victim having slapped Taksin on the face, ridiculing him for his wife leaving him. In a fit of rage, Taksin grabbed a wrench and struck his friend several times before leaving the scene. He's now behind bars as the investigation continues. For more on this, visit the PhuketNews.com. Phuket has officially crossed the 50 road deaths mark for the year after several accidents. This past weekend saw the island's ongoing Carmageddon continue. An accident took place on Friday on the road running along the island's west coast, according to the Katu branch of the k u s o d o m Rescue Foundation, the biggest rescue service on the island. Though no police reports have followed so far, a motorbike collided with a taxi on Patak Road between Patong and Karon while on a curve. Photos from the accident showed the damaged taxi was in its lane, while the motorbike was clearly on the wrong side of the road. The next day, the island's Thai Road Safety Committee registered 51 road deaths in Phuket and 7,373 injured in accidents on the island's roads since January 1st of this year. For more, visit the PhuketNews.com. Accidents littered the island's roads over the weekend, causing injuries to many, as well as property damage. We'll start in Widget on Thursday, as an accident took place near the macro store in Widget Songkram Road at about 4:15 a.m. when a Honda motorbike with three people on it, including one female and two males, crashed into a roadside pole. All three people, who are all in their mid 20 s were rushed to Vashita Phuket Hospital. Police are investigating the crash, although there have been calls by the Phuket Vice Governor Anupap to conduct alcohol checks after all accidents on the island. Then, early on Sunday morning, the driver of a passenger van lost control of his vehicle near the Tungka Sapam Bypass Road behind the Toyota Bypass Outlet in Kokeo. The 34-year-old driver of the passenger van later told police he lost control of the van and hit a pole, and it fell, which brought down six more power poles. Police had to wait for the power supply to be shut off before they could recover the driver from the vehicle, and he was taken to a local hospital with minor injuries. Then, just this morning, five tourists were taken to Dipuk Hospital in Chelong after an accident on Route 4010, which is the road between Chao Phraya West and the Prince of Songkla University Phuket campus, at about 8:25 a.m. this morning. The bus accidentally veered off the road when the driver went to switch on the GPS on his phone. Police say he tested negative for alcohol. For more on all of this, visit the PhuketNews.com. The Metropolitan Police Bureau in Bangkok will endorse a crackdown on Chinese underhand dealings in Bangkok as the number of abduction and ransom cases increases. The number of Chinese tourists to Thailand has increased since China lifted COVID travel curbs. Among legitimate tourists, some Chinese nationals have entered the kingdom to execute criminal activities. Such as abduction for ransom, which in some cases leads to murder. According to the government's public relations department, over 300,000 Chinese nationals flocked to Thailand in the first quarter of 2023, and during this time, five major cases have taken place in Bangkok or in the jurisdiction of the Metropolitan Police Bureau. On March 10th, four immigration police abducted a Chinese man and a Thai woman, allegedly extorted 30,000 U.S. dollars in the crypto stablecoin pegged to the U.S. dollar tether. On March 16th, three Chinese nationals were arrested for abducting a Chinese grad student and extorting about 3.3 million baht from her. On March 28, a 22-year-old student in Bangkok, a Chinese woman named Jin k a n was abducted and later murdered by her fellow countrymen. Who dumped her body in a plantation after the ransom was not paid? On April 14, a 24-year-old Chinese man was abducted from a condo in Bangkok 
and was held for nearly 4 million baht ransom, which was paid. In the aftermath, police arrested six people, including his Thai girlfriend, a former beauty pageant contestant whom police say masterminded the whole plot. Then on April 16, a 30-year-old Chinese national was reported missing and police did rescue him after he had been abducted and held for 1.8 million baht ransom at a hotel in Bangkok's Satorn area. Police Major General Tiradek Tumsoti, the MPB's chief of investigations, said most Chinese offenders enter Thailand with tourist visas. They usually hatch their scheme with compatriots and approach potential victims via Chinese mobile apps like WeChat. The criminals keep in touch with victims until they learn their daily routine, financial situation, and family background. Most targeted victims are usually Chinese nationals whose families are considered wealthy by Chinese standards or people who hold a large amount of cash in their bank accounts as well as a high worth of cryptocurrency. He says Thai police will keep detailed records of Chinese tourists such as their hotel locations, destinations in Thailand, and names of their companions. The records are accessible by local police to monitor high-risk areas where the number of Chinese tourists is high. He also said police must endorse a crackdown on Chinese criminals before the offenders escalate into mafia gang activity. For more, visit thepuketnews.com. Thanks so much for joining with us here on this Monday edition of Phuket Extra brought to you by pvcphuket.com. It's a great start to your week. We'll be here again tomorrow, so check us out again tomorrow. I'll see you then. Until then, stay classy, Phuket. Phuket's rapid modernization has made it one of the world's premier holiday destinations. Investors can still buy quality condominiums for as low as 75,000 US dollars and luxury properties can go all the way up to 20 million. Condominiums in Phuket are a safe, secure bricks and mortar investment offering foreigners freehold ownership. Call or email Thai Residential. Phuket's number one trusted real estate advisor to find your perfect Phuket property.